going on, y'all? Uh, let's see. Today I'm going to anneal some uh, steel. Just soften it up for uh, some knife making so that I can file it down, etc. I'm also going to throw in just some little helpful tidbits concerning like fire starting, things like that. <clears throat> but uh, this is a Weber. Weber fire cubes and uh, lighter cubes. See that? They work really well. I wouldn't cook with them because they stink. They say they're non-toxic, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I believe that or not. But they do work well, and you can kind of crumble them up. And uh, use them at your discretion. But I've got some, uh, some hardwood lump charcoal here. This stuff is really cheap. It's like five bucks a bag at Lowe's or wherever. And uh, whenever I'm heat treating or uh, annealing my steel, I usually use this lump charcoal. It works better and it doesn't get all those uh, impurities in their steel. I'll just I'll get some nice coals going and then I'll just put my steel in there and let it burn and then uh, once it settles down and cools off naturally then it should be annealed enough to where I can uh, work with it a little bit easier in the workshop. Got a little homemade bellows in my fire starting kit. And all it is is just some, uh, it's just a uh, part of an old antenna, you know, that telescopes like that. And then some uh, fish tank, you know, fish tubing. And it works really well. Easy to make, cheap, and uh, you don't have to worry about getting down there and blowing on the fire, getting dizzy. <laughs> Every time I stand up, I always fall down when I do that. Um, so yeah, this thing works out well. It's, like I said, it's very cheap, easy to make, no big deal. So that's it. I'm going to let these coals get nice and hot. Get a nice red, yellow, orange coloration going with the coals, and then I'm going to place the steel in those coals and then just let it burn naturally and cool down naturally and then it'll be ready for me to uh, to do my work with.
I have a video on my homepage that I play that I just I release it, you know, Veterans Day, Fourth of July, that type of thing. But it's a it's a he's a veteran of uh, Vietnam. He was a force recon sniper. Um, if you want to know what these guys and gals have had to go through for decades, I mean, war doesn't change. The methods change, but the effect is always the same. They're dealing with a lot um, when they come back home. So if you want to go by my homepage and check out the video and just sort of step in somebody else's shoes and see what they have to deal with and had to deal with concerning war and battle and check it out. But I'm going to do like a little short series on how I just make knives. Not production knives or anything like that. I'm not a knife maker. I just uh, I like to have different skill sets for different reasons. Um, and it's always nice if you can't buy it that you can make it. So stay tuned and have a great Veterans Day weekend. God bless. All right, so I've just piled coals on top of my uh, piece of steel and kind of created just a uh, kind of a heat chamber in there so it'll get nice and hot. Those coals will burn nice and slow. It'll anneal the steel, soften it up, and it'll be ready to go. But pretty easy. Um, I just, you know, threw the coals in, in my homemade fire pit and went at it. Um, you could probably do it on... Uh, I mean, I don't see why you couldn't do it on one of those store-bought fire pits or whatever. You just use what you have. 